knew um, that really famous sniper, Chris Kyle, right? We, had, uh, we, we actually do a thing down here in Florida every year called Snipercraft. Uh, Snipercraft is put on through a company called SRT Supply, and we would bring in about 80 snipers from around the area. Some would come in from out of the state, but most of them were here locally. Yeah. And we always bring in a guest speaker. Um, Chris Kyle at the time happened to be one of our guest speakers that had come in to talk. He was still active. Mm-hmm. Um, he was in yeah. active military. He was act, uh, still... He was still in the teams. Right. And... Um, Came to our matter of fact, we wanted to have some photos with him, get some take some photo chances. He was like, "Hey, guys, I'm still active, and we can't do that right now." Oh, really? So yeah, so he was real, real, a super great guy. Yeah. Um, we work with another group called uh, Black Dagger out of SOCOM, Black Hat, uh, Black Dagger Military Hunt Club, and Chris would come out and basically what this is, this is taking combat vets or vets period who have uh, some sort of catastrophic uh, injury and bringing them out to either hunt or to shoot guns. Um, we've got a former Green Beret. Um, Romy, he, uh, he's all over LinkedIn. He had gotten shot through the neck in, uh, uh, Iraq. And the guys that when he got shot, they didn't realize he'd been shot through the neck, yanked him back inside the vehicle. Well, it paralyzed him from the neck down. Um, now this guy is a green beret did more than most of us by 5 AM in the morning every day. We're just getting up and starting our day. And some of us were waiting till eight o'clock to start it. But he decided that uh, he was going to be a green beret for his whole life, married a beautiful woman, after he became paralyzed, uh, obviously depression set in. Uh, he's in a full wheelchair that he moves with the head, with his neck and his mouth. And um, he decided he wanted to come out one day and come out with us out to the range. And we had a guy that was out there the same day who was kind of in the same situation, who had a wheelchair that he could actually mount a rifle on and shoot from by blowing into a straw. Whoa. And Man. so we looked at getting this for Romy and bringing this on board. So now he's shooting again. Um, we're shooting uh, Tenorite, which is an explosive that blows up when you shoot it. So we, we'll have those out to 50 and 100 yards. He's actually shooting them again. Wow. So just like a Green Beret should be. Yeah. And um, so we, we work this other side of it through uh, uh, SOCOM and the guys over there out of McDill. Uh, Dave Winters puts this event on. It's a great event. Um, wow. Working with um, also Gold Star parents, parents who have lost children. I shouldn't call them children. They've lost uh, adult children or their kids in combat. And then they okay. come over to McDill. We either bring them out shooting. Yeah. Um, each of the parent wears a picture of their son or their daughter on their sh- on their shirt, and we just make sure we ask about them as we as we go throughout the day with them. Right. Wow, that's amazing. So yeah, it's uh, so far. I mean, the journey has been fantastic. And I've also read about MDMA being a big, uh, tr- you know, a, an effective treatment for PTSD. It's funny you say that. Um, 